Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got uh, two WNBA games on the slate, October 1st. Uh, I'm running late, sorry. Had a couple of uh, things I had to do today. If not, I would have uh, had some silver bracelets, you know what I mean? But let's keep it moving. First up, Kelsey Plum. First quarter points over four and a half. Plus 108 FanDuel. Uh Liberty, ah, uh, Liberty. Uh, Vegas is down. They need to win. Uh, I expect them to come out hard and heavy. Uh, I do like her full game points, but I just decided to go with this one. A little, little bit of money. Uh, and I'm a risk taker. <laughs> uh, she does well. Great history versus New York. Uh, I mean, last game she only played seven minutes. First quarter, but she did clear it. She went over it. Uh, she hits one three, a little two. A couple of little layups, something easy. Um, that's head-to-head -head versus Liberty, by the way. Three games this year, three games she's gone over. Last five games, she's gone over three out of five. So, uh, yeah, I'm rocking with it. Kelsey Plum, first quarter points, Fandle. Next up, uh, I'm going to run through these quick, sorry. Uh, Laney Hamilton, I went rebounds and assists over six and a half. Before she got hurt with her knee and stuff, uh, she was an easy catch with uh, her points, anything, threes. Well, she does do it all, but she's not been scoring very well. Uh, they got her rebounds and assists each at three and a half. Uh, together, they got it at six and a half, so it's actually a little lower. Normally, it's like a like one more. She's claimed this three out of the last five games. Uh, last game, four rebounds, three assists. The minutes have gone down a little bit. But... um. She's averaging seven in these last five games. We're head to head. She's gone over this every time they've played this year. I mean, like I said, her minutes did go down this last game, and she did clear it out seven. Game before that, 25 minutes, she cleared it. Game before that, 35. And then the next one's last year. So all three times they've played, she's played this year. She's cleared it uh, 20% hit rate for the last 20 days. For the year, 72%. Uh, overall, rebounds allowed 10th, assist, 5th, Vegas is. Hamilton has exceeded 6.5 uh, rebounds and assists, 15 of the last 19 games, averaging 7.5. So uh, she does it all. She contributes. So um, even if she's not scoring, Let's get it, Lenny Hamilton. Next up, uh, username Carrington, points over 11 and a half. Uh, DraftKings, 135, I played it. For the year, 64% hit rate, she's gone over this. Um, she succeeded 11 and a half in 10 of the last 13 games on the road, averaging 14. Head to head. Let's clear this three out of four. There it is, you know, I'm looking at it, it's a little regression, but uh very uh, games of importance. Minutes have ticked up. That was a key thing in it picking too. She's playing plenty of minutes. Um she's out there. Uh, 12 points should be able to go over it. I hope so. Uh, Tiffany Mitchell, Elm is out. Hamilton, 
Paris game time decisions still. So that might factor in to her uh, minutes, but I mean, she's a starter anyway. She plays. Hopefully she uh, does the right thing. Games of importance. So I like the, you know, finals and playoffs and shit because there's no time to fuck around. Carlton uh, stayed with the points. All lined it down to nine and a half. I think the line's at ten and a half or like one or five or something. Um, what does it say? Exceeded ten and a half, five of the last six games, averaging 13.2. Uh, if you've been watching, you know we played a threes all year, basically. Uh, it was always good plus money, 140, 160. In the beginning, it was like 200. But uh, they brought it down to like 110 or 120 right now, and it's the points that are safe for bet. Uh, head to head. Played four times this year, she went over at three. Minutes going up, everything's going up. But that's going to happen. If a player's doing well, they're going to continue to use them. And they're only playing, each team is only playing, you know, uh, six people maybe. So they're all getting plenty of minutes. And uh, yeah, let's get it, Bridget Collin. Shit. And we'll see how they got it at 154 too. I've said this before, but if you knew on FanDuel they'll have Atlanta Smith rebounds, blah blah blah, and then they'll have uh six plus rebounds. So and sometimes they have different odds. So make sure you get the best odds. Uh she cleared this for at 53% this year. She's uh Averaging six for the year. I mean, Connecticut is a good rebounding team. Don't get it twisted. But like I said, games of importance. And Alana Smith's out there. She's an ex-volleyball player. But, uh, she's all over the place. Diving on the floor. She's always getting smashed by people. But she's in there. She's acting nice. Head-to-head. Uh, -head. Uh, one, two, three. She cleared this three out of four. Last game, she just had eight. Uh, 30 something minutes. So, uh, yeah, so next up, I played her points. Uh, sometimes she goes off, sometimes she don't. Uh, Minnesota needs to win. So all of the Minnesota players are going to go off. They got a great team. It was a real close game last time. Uh, they got points at eight and a half. Minus 130, Fandle head-to-head besides -head. Size this last game. She cleared it every time this year. You know, not by much, but she'll go over it. Um, she just shot really bad this last game, two for nine. Uh, she shoots some threes occasionally. Sometimes she'll get real hot with them. Other times she don't, but she don't really shoot them that often. Uh, 0 for 4 last game. So, uh, but she's out there. They need her on the floor. She contributes to everything. Um, I, like I said, I just feel like she's going to have a decent game today. So, I uh, also went with her blocks over one and a half even money. FanDuel. She had five last game. Two and two. The other two times they've played. Uh, she's out there. She's causing havoc. Uh, like I said, she she played volleyball, I believe, in college, too. And uh, she's just acting a fool. Uh, not a crazy, crazy hit rate, but uh, just about 50% for the year. And uh, I like her steals, too, but I left them off. So I got her points, rebounds at five and a half, and uh, her blocks. But look at her steals too. Three out of the four times this year, she she's gone over it. But uh, yeah, the blocks.
black uh, points and steals. Let's get it. Play. It's for you guys. We're going to try to get the over on these likes and comments. So hit that thumb. Put a little comment. You know that you're making money with all these clean sweeps we had the last couple of days. Uh, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. Let's turn the notifications on so you get all my plays, my live bets. Anything I do, I give it to you guys. Uh, not only do I give you picks, but I try to teach you different tips and techniques. Uh, just to try to help you withdraw money instead of always having a deposit. Um, yeah, and if you could leave a comment, like the comments help get the videos out there. But let's get into this. Uh, oh yeah, and listen, just because we've been doing good the last couple of days, like real good, don't change your unit size or the amount you bet and, and start betting more money because we were winning. Keep everything the same, you know, whether you win or lose, it's the same thing. You got to stay level-headed because uh, you can get yourself in trouble real quick that way. And parlays, I don't really do parlays that often, but once in a while I'll do stuff like this. Um, it hit last time, so I'm going to keep it going. Uh, just remember, parlays are like lotto tickets. Uh, the percentage of each leg you add on is ridiculously low. And I got some long ones here, so the odds to hit are crazy low. Uh, the percentages, if you look at my info, there's a there's a, a link on there. I'll actually give you the percentage after each leg you add on. But, uh, all right, so first off, I got a plus 382. I used the 25% profit boost. Same game parlay. Uh, I got Kelsey Plum, 15 plus points. Isanook, 15 plus. Uh, Isanook, two plus threes. John Quell Jones to get eight plus boards. And Hamilton to get two assists and Jones to get two assists. We did $25, which I normally don't spend that much on them either. But I uh, got lucky, lucky the other day and I'm feeling lucky today. Uh, 25 pays out 120. That's with the 25% boost. If not, it's a 306. Then I got some other, these ones are a little more stretched. I got a 10 leg same game parlay plus for uh, plus 11.16. $15 pays out $1,600. Man, this thing hits. We have it in giveaway. Same game parlay. I got Asia Wilson, 20 plus. Basically, all to score 20 points. Asia to score 20. Stewart to score 20. Isaac 20 and Plum, 20. And then I threw in Alyssa Thomas, 10 points, Collier, 20 points, McBride, 10, Mabry, 15, Williams, 10, Corny Williams, and then Carrington, 10 points. Now, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the box sheets in a second. They're all basically scored that anyway. So, yeah, and just remember, these are lotto tickets. I'll go... Trying to take these to the bank if it happens, it happens, but they're probably not gonna. But I got a good feeling. Last up, I got a 10 leg plus uh, 3,973 odds. Carlton to score 10 points, Courtney Williams 10 points, uh, Carrington 10 points, McBride 10 points, Bonner 10 points, Alyssa Thomas 10 points. And then I added on. Sabrina Eisenhuk, 15. Kelsey Plum, they have at least 15. Asia Wilson, 20. And Brianna Stewart, 20. $15 pays out 610. They seem doable to me, right? They're the only players really playing. Hopefully, they go over. Uh, check out the box sheet for the last game. Eisenhuk had 21. Stewie had 34. Uh, Jones had 13. Plum had 24. Wilson had 21. And uh, rebounds. What, uh, what's the name have? Jones had 12 boards. Uh, 
Carlton had 17 points. Collier had 19. They lost. I expect them to try to go off Collier. Uh, McBride, 12 points. Williams had 8. So she needs to, I mean, she had a bad shooting day, too, 3 for 12. Um, Bonner had 10, which is a bad shooting day, but that's normal for Bonner to have bad shooting days. Uh, Thomas had 17. Maybe we had 20. Carrington had 13. Uh, I liked, uh, I was going to play Thomas's PRAs. It was at 31 and a half. And when I went to put it in, they bumped it up to like 32 and a half, and I just faded it. Uh, obviously, I got a lot of plays. If you guys watch, you know, I don't really bet a lot per play. That's why I bet more plays. It's just a strategy that works for me. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, everyone. Let's get that money. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs>